It's Brittany, bitch. And I am back. What is going on, everybody? Took a little short break, but I am back making some more videos for you. During that break, we hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you, everybody. I'm glad you guys enjoy the channel, learn something from it. What can I say if you guys like it? Thank you. You love me. You really love me. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much. Uh, you know, learn a little bit, laugh a little bit, uh, spit some crazy stuff on the internet. Helping some people out. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed and let's celebrate a little bit. It's all about humanity. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed those dance moves right there. So now to get to the video on this one We're gonna be doing a video how to connect to a need to using your laptop and a cat5 wire So there right there. I have my laptop my cat5 wire going into the e2 Let me open it up a little bit going into the port connect straight to it So one of the things you're gonna have to get from the uh, E2 controller is the IP address. So right here, I put the steps to find that information out. I'm gonna do it real quick. And there you have it. So you need to remember that number for later on. All right, and now going to the laptop to open up the software. All you need for this one is Ultraside 32. Open it up. This software you can probably hopefully find it in Emerson. I don't know if they still have it up there. They removed it. If one of your buddies has it, then get it from him. But this is what you need. It takes a bit. A couple moments and then it'll come up. There you go. So this one, very simple. User pass. And you're in so for this one I'm just gonna be using my training uh, right click on it add a new site I usually put the store number and then the city but since right now we're just doing this for the video I'm just gonna put random RC 21 so e2 that's a controller connected to IP address if you have a 9 pin, it'll be direct connect, but we're using IP. So here you put that number from earlier. That one right there. And it has to be the exact number from the controller that you're going to pull back. So matches. Okay. So this is a part that a lot of people get hung up on. So you got to find your control panel for the actual laptop. So for me, I got a pin underneath. I find it. I got my Ethernet right there on the network settings. So network settings, you just find it for the Ethernet. Click on it. Go to the properties. And you want to select that one right there, TCP slash IPv4. And right there, you put the IP address except for the last numbers. It can't be the same. It has to be one up or one down from any of the controllers in the store. It can't conflict with any other controller. So right there, there's only one controller, so it's 12. So my laptop, I'm gonna make it 13. So now I'll go back to my site I created, connect, and there you go, connected to the controller. I usually just, I mean, I usually just pull the inventory, then I back it up. Anytime I connect to a store, I wanna back it up just in case anything happens. There you go, just pull the program on the store. So I'm just going to minimize it. Show you right now the store live. Summary. There you go. 
and the controller. So if you guys want to see it, anything with the computer, sometimes it makes it easier to look at the graphs and everything. For me personally, I get to troubleshoot sometimes. It's easier just to pull everything. I can really look into it in depth with the computer. But now to show you guys an example, disconnecting. So I'm going to show you what happens if you put the same IP address as another controller. So I'm going to go back into it. And let's just say that you accidentally put an IP address the same as one of the other controllers. So here I'm making it 12, the same as a controller on the store. I'll try to connect to it again. And it'll just time out. It will not pick it up. It takes a couple seconds. But let's just say errors. I'm going to connect. Any minute now. And there you go. So I want to go back to it and fix it. Can I put in an IP that does not conflict with the controller? So going back to 13. So in this case, 13 or 11 would work. Okay, close it. Try again. Right click, connect. Now there you go, not connected to the controller. Easy as that, that's how you connect to an E2 using your laptop. Do make sure you do pull up a backup just in case you accidentally delete something. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, and be careful using that laptop in there because if you hit the wrong button, you never know man, you might. <laughs>